Hello folks, uh, this is Gingy, uh, doing a test video uh, for the uh, for one of the DS simulators. Uh, also, uh, this is my first, uh, com my second compare and contrast of uh, B-17 Bomber. Uh, the first compare and contrast uh, is for the uh, turn-based strat games. And this one is another famous uh, Memmy that uh, people like to use uh, in video games called the B-17 Bomber Moment, where basically uh, you're in a, either the gunner positions of a B-17 Bomber or you're the whole plane. Uh, so we're just gonna do. I'm just going to do some video clips of uh, various games that uh, steal this idea and uh, see which one looks more entertaining. Uh, also, uh, you'll be hearing another voice down in, uh, like, you know, really quiet. Uh, that's the in-game audio, and there is no music for this game. Uh, it's just plain humming. Uh, but basically, uh, you have your call sign guy, I mean, your spotters calling out, uh, where the enemy planes are coming from. Like, if they say 12 o'clock high, that means it's in front of your plane, uh, and it's aimed above you. Uh, if it's six o'clock, that means it's behind your plane. Uh, if it's low, that means below your plane. You know. Uh, also, you know, uh, this is a relatively short game and a long game at the same time. Uh, basically, it's kind of like a quick quickie of uh, you first man your guns, then you have to dodge some enemy AA fire, then you have to. Uh, shoot down some more fighters, uh, then you actually get to drop your bombs, and then you uh, do some gunning again, and you uh, go back to base. Uh, for this version, anyway. The Atari version is similar, but you have to land your plane, I believe, or something to that effect. I know there's a lot of fuel management and stuff in that. And then, uh, there's one other game that I'm going to be comparing uh, from the Army Man series. Uh, where basically, uh, uh, basically it's another one of those gunning moments. Uh, it's, I think it's Army Man Team Assault, or something to that effect. Uh, anyway, as you can see here, we're finally at the bombing section. Uh, the bombs first dropped a little, a little silly at first, and then it finally straightened out a bit. I think that's probably just because your plan's getting the pilot was just getting set up for the bombing run and had to get in the position. So that's why your bomb alignment's a little off. Uh, for those of you not used to bomb site, uh, I recommend uh, watching uh, videos on it from like World War II online, Battlefield Europe, or I'm sorry, uh, Battleground Europe. Uh, there's a lot of uh, bomb bomb site references uh, to that. Uh, I normally like to, f when I play that game, or when I used to, I used to fly HE-111s, so it's similar, but yet different. Um, but this will be the first one uh, for the DS, and then once I find an Atari, I'll try to do the Atari one, and once I get to the point in the Army Man series, I'll do the Army Man one. And let you and like I said before, you guys do your votes and see who wins. Uh, also, I'll post my scores up at the end of this video uh, in case I do it too fast. Uh, the DS emulator kind of records slow, but then yet plays extremely fast. Uh, so I I don't understand the logic in it but it might be my friends for a second or something. But, uh, basically, uh, like I said, uh, if you have any games that you want compared, uh, compared and contrasted, let me know. I'll do a quick little show off of each one and let you, the viewers, decide who wins. Or if you notice anything that's kind of weird or off or more enjoyable, and uh, 
can go from there. Uh, anyway, uh, this will be uh, Kinky signing out uh, for B-17 uh, Bomber Fortress in the Sky. Uh, here's my scores, and I'll post it up again just to let you guys see in case I do it too quick. And uh, thank you.